Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. Boy, is it hot outside. Boy, it is burning up. But anyway, we have some hot tickets here today. We have the Laurel Art uh, Festival, and we have uh, Larry. Uh, he won the uh, Park and Planning Award again. Uh, uh, and re and really, Larry, uh, tell us a little bit about all these awards that you win. Oh, Larry Colbert, he, he's been around. He does everything. You enjoy the Sports and Learning Center. This is the man. And along with him that made Larry is uh, his former coach. That's Stan uh, Mullins. And he's going to tell how he made a man coming to Prince George County like Larry. He does everything. Larry, welcome to the show. Good morning, Mr. Brown. It's always a pleasure to be here with you. This time we're on a different agenda. All the times I've been on your show is about where I've been off the on the road traveling, winning awards. Right. So this is what uh, I would say right now is the icing of the cake, on the cake, uh -huh. of this award here. But what, but what happens is that uh, you continue, every time I look, you're winning. You're either winning an award for presenting a, a, a team or you're winning a personal award. This guy runs track. He, he's, what was that? Uh, what are you wearing, 100? <laughs> right there, I'm, I'm doing the one. T I'm doing the 400, the 200, and the 100. So he, he's doing printed. all of that. So you know, this, this is really something else. Uh, uh, Mr. Mullins, tell us how did where do you dig this guy up from? He he claimed at the presentation uh, last Saturday that you made him. Well, I didn't really make him. Uh, the, the the talent was there from the, from the outset. Um, I think Larry and I got together when he was about 35 years old, um, many, many years ago. A couple ago. days ago, right? <laughs> a couple <laughs> days ago, yes. And, um, and it, it was very, very interesting how we got started because I had a group of uh, young men that I was training uh, for a track club. At the time, it was called Club East uh -huh. out of Washington, D.C. And we were working out, and so this, this guy came on the track, and um, he was just standing around and he saw the guys running and he came over to me and said, you the coach? I said, yes, I am. <laughs> and I introduced myself to Larry and um, he said, uh, you, you mind if I uh, start run, running with these guys? I, he said, I have some, some medical problems that my doctor told me I need to get out and do mm -hmm. some exercising. Mm -hmm. And in the back of my mind, I'm, I'm saying, I really don't have time <laughs> for a guy that <laughs> Looks like Over he might hill, be, huh? yeah, <laughs> older. Because these guys were like in their teens. They were right, nineteen, twenty-year-old right. guys, and some of them were actually training to compete on a, on on the national level. So I said, e "Yeah, okay, come on, yeah, you can get on the track. You you can go. You can mm -hmm. do it." And um, then he asked me about some workouts, and and I'm saying, "I don't know if I have time to do that." <laughs> and I said, "Okay." You couldn't get rid of. I him, couldn't right? get rid of this guy. <laughs> And, and so I said, well, I know how to get rid of him. I, I'm going to really work him real hard, and maybe he won't so he come won't back. Show up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Larry just kept coming back, kept coming back day after day. Every day I come out on the track, and I see this guy here warming up. And he, he was keeping up with the other guys after a, a few weeks. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, well, this guy may have some potential because mm -hmm. we do have a program that's called a master's program. Mm -hmm. And at that time, he would probably have fitted into the submaster mm -hmm. program. And um, so he, he kept progressing, getting better and getting better. And then <laughs> I asked him, have you ever run track before? He said, no, I never run track before. <laughs> um, and, and then we started letting him do certain events, like the 100 meters and uh -huh. the 200 meters. And he started beating guys in, in his age category and uh -huh. keeping up with some of the younger ones, matter of fact. Uh -huh. And um, so it, it progressed from there. And Larry and I have been together now, now I guess, about 37 years, 37 Larry. 37 years, Pretty yeah. close to 37 years, yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, one thing I like to mention is the fact that the Sports and Learning Center, like I was telling everybody that comes in this area, is one of the best facilities Absolutely. in this country. They don't understand the educational aspects of it, the athletic aspects of it, what it is producing. 
And, and Larry, just like we said at the <laughs> award ceremony, he, said, he does everything. You know, you know how some Absolutely. guys, you know, they they were involved in something. You know, in certain things, they have other people. Mm -hmm. There's nothing at the Sports and Learning Center that Larry doesn't get involved in. You know, whether it's uh, setting up programs, whether uh, making sure uh, the facility is in the best shape. Right. You know, and and I mean, when I say the best shape, even picking up paper and every, everything that's involved in the programming and everything there with the, the Glen Arden uh, Track Club, which uh, Larry is uh, heavily involved in, is one of the outstanding. They go all over the country. I traveled with them uh, two years ago, I think it was down in uh, Florida. Florida. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, there's so many places that the Glen Arden Track Club and the track people in this area have been represented and Larry has been part of it. And so we really like to honor all the efforts and everything that he's put into the Sports and uh, Learning Center. And Mr. Brown, you know, um, it's interesting that you talk about the things that he, that you see him doing around the facility. Right. And he, he has a, he, his personality and the way he can communicate with people. Mm -hmm. I, I noticed that a lot of his coaches are right there too and they're doing yeah, the same thing right. even when we have the high school Coach meets. Coach Henry is whole whole yeah, slew absolutely. of it. Yeah. When yeah. we do the high school meets, uh, we, we see all those guys there helping out and volunteering their time and mm -hmm. because they're knowledgeable about certain types of um, events and things mm -hmm. and it keeps the program, it keeps the track and field program throughout Prince George's mm -hmm. County yeah. really, really on right. par and, and, and rolling right along. And, and a lot of people, they think that, you know, Sports and Learning Center, they don't understand the educational aspects of it. Absolutely. You know, as far as uh, computerizing, we have courses, they have these programs where seniors and young people can come in and actually take all sorts of training as far as uh, the uh, computers and, uh, and, and physical, as far as the senior citizens. Oh, yeah. You know, the senior citizens Amazing. have a terrific program. Amazing. And then gymnastics, they've, uh, the facility itself, they've had national, as far as the gymnastics is yeah, concerned, national as far as the swimming meet is concerned, and the facility itself, uh, they have uh, the Olympic size uh, uh, track outside right. and they have an indoor track right, which yeah. uh, which Larry and I were talking about off camera is that this is a facility that Prince George County should be very right. very proud of it and what they need to do is go over there and really support those programs yeah, because absolutely. supporting those pro pro programs will make it a better center because we need everybody sure. volunteer that's yeah. one of the things sure. that we have in this uh, uh, country is volunteers and the, the idea is that you can do something and the, would the track, gymnasts, swimming, computer, is something there for everybody, Absolutely. you know what I mean? And that, that, that's the beauty of it. Well, you know, Mr. Brown, what we do there, I usually, I get there around, I don't have to be at work until 6. Uh, right, you get it at 5. 5. 30, <laughs> 5 o'clock because I want to do yeah, my there. workout first, do my little training and things of that nature. <clears throat> then when time for the doors open, I'm ready to go to work. So mm -hmm. I have to get there early to take mm -hmm. care of myself and do what I have to do. Mm -hmm. But the beauty of that sports and learning complex is the senior citizen. Right. People yes. do not see them. Right. We, take, uh, we take account every hour on the hour of how many people are using the track indoor and outdoor. In the uh, uh, 2000 and what is 2011, mm -hmm. we have over 83,000 people has been that using that facility. I mean, walking, jogging, or something. I'm like not that. surprised. That's outdoor. And most of them are senior citizens. Right. Because they're on time. At, at four, I get there at 5.30. And they're standing there Look, waiting to go no, in. 5.30, <laughs> some of them driving, going home. <laughs> they've been there, going home. Uh -huh. and, and, and the beauty of it, is I got nicknames for all of them because uh -huh. I don't know, I, I can't not call your name, you know. Every now and then I might know your name. So I call them the polar bears. 
And the <laughs> polar bears are at the early in the morning. Mm -hmm. You at only time that they comes inside the building, mm -hmm. if it's really, really snowing or mm -hmm. ice or something, mm -hmm. the polar bears are coming. Mm -hmm. Normally they're outside walking. And another nice thing they when they gave me this award or ceremony Saturday, yeah. they had this big picture flying up. Congratulations, yeah. come from the polar bears, you know. <laughs> so they all was there, you know. Is that so, right? Oh, I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah, the polar bear. Yeah, the I polar started bear. to bring this. I didn't want yeah, to bring too much. That but the polar you. bears, uh, uh -huh. you know, how well they come out and utilize and use the facility. There's one young lady, and I call them young ladies. Mm. She but in her 90s. Mm. In she, the 90s. In her 90s. I call her a young lady. Mm. She's a young lady. But she was out there when the track first was built. Mm -hmm. And I think we hadn't put the asphalt down. Okay. She said, can I get on the track? I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and we walked around the track. Right now, I think this lady is still there. No Comes kidding. out and walk. I said, this is your track. You were the first one to step foot yeah. on. That's right. before we put the Martin surface down, you yeah. know. Because right. she didn't know nothing about it. She yeah. saw the asphalt. She thought she could walk. I said, yes, ma'am, you can walk on the track. Right. So, so many beautiful things yeah. has come upon that facility. Not, not, not and, only young, but everyone. Yeah, in fact, our next guest is uh, the at Sports and Learning Center, uh, the Laurel Art Guild had a, a, a art show there. Oh, okay. And, oh, and, 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 and people don't know the variety uh, of programs that yes. they have there. Available. And that they can participate with little or no cost. That's true. Yeah. That's See, true. That, that's the idea. Yeah. And so we really pushing the Sports and Learning Center, because what we basically want to do, we want to get volunteers first, is everybody out there can volunteer for something at that center. Because what we want, we want to get stands on the opposite side, because we want to attract, what, what was that, we, we just, missed the Olympics. We missed the Olympic trials. This year, 2012, 2012 because the Olympic we trials didn't have stands. Right. Didn't have the stands. Didn't have stands on both sides of the stadium. And that's all it and was asking is, for. And this is what people in Prince George County need to get together and make sure we get stands for that sports and learning center. Right. Because it will draw funds. Everybody talks about the money, but this is that center be a fun will man. draw just like you were saying, even the senior citizens, eighty three thousand. <laughs> that's right. That's how many people had to senior walk. citizens. Wow. And yep. you can't even count just like the day I was up there. You can't even count. It was must have been uh, youth day. Boy, they were <laughs> It oh, must have been a hundred thousand up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they were involved in different programs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. with that, I like to congratulate uh, uh, Larry uh, for his uh, work, Colbert. There, he's been working in Prince George County how many years? Right now, I've been <laughs> working in Prince George County as far as schools and things of that nature. I say about forty-five years. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. But. He don't like for me to say this. <laughs> yeah, because that makes Honest, this that pushes, where this pushes where it actually started. Yeah. It started right That's there. That's where it started. I created all my all my uh, all my I would say all my success uh -huh. in track and field. Not only in track and field, I'm a watcher. Mm -hmm. I'm not very much of a talker. I watch mm -hmm. what you do. And he said something the other day, mm -hmm. and I did not know that mm -hmm. how he how he brought me along. Mm -hmm. He just yeah. see if I was going to quit. Right. Right. So yeah. I do my athletes the same way. You right. never say no to them. Right. You work Give, with encourage them. them. And encourage them mm -hmm. and just see how long they're right. going to hang. But All right. He wasn't about to make me quit. <laughs> no, that's All not right. even his uh, vocabulary. Once again, uh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Mullins and Larry, we're happy to have you on the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And this is what we are trying to let people be aware of the citizenry. They're doing a terrific job. And just like I said, uh, I, I was, by being at the center, the art show, which co is coming on on the second half from Laurel, that, that, that's where I saw it. I said, now this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. The program mm -hmm. are so varied up there. But I'll tell you one thing. I like to see some of you volunteer for something. You know what I mean? Most of you don't want to get paid every time. You, this guy here, Larry, he volunteers for a lot of things that he doesn't get paid for. I know that. Okay, see you in a second. Hi, welcome back to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And now the next special guest is April Rimpo. I mean, she's from the Laurel Art Guild. And this is a coincidence. Here I am wearing a, a Aries shirt, 
born in April. And also April is born in April. So <laughs> I tell you, boy, things really worked out. But anyway, tell us a little bit about the uh, Laurel Art Guild. Thank you, Ed. Thank you so much for having the Laurel Art Guild here. And coincidentally, Laurel Art Guild was also born in April. No kidding. April April's of 1967. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, they were. That's when they had their very first meeting. Uh, a woman from uh, Laurel Art Laurel put an ad in the paper looking for people interested in having an art club. And they all met. Um, they met actually at a citizens building um, in Laurel. And there was a lot of interest. And in fact, one of our current members was at that meeting. In fact, I think there may have been two there at that Is meeting. Is that right? Yep. Still, still, still booking, member, huh? still <laughs> going very strong. That's what I mean. Great. Yep. And uh, the community, the Laurel leaders, were very instrumental. I, I don't know the influence these women had because it was primarily women who were forming this guild at the time. But they managed to get the Laurel community leadership excited. They helped them find venues where they could actually hold their meetings. Um, they were at a couple different venues for the first three years. And then Prince George's Planning Commission gave them permission to actually hold their meetings out of the carriage house at the Montpelier Mansion. Oh, great. And so we still have that privilege today to to hold, we have um, Laurel Art Guild supplies there at the mm -hmm. carriage house that we can uh, make use of when we hold events. And now we primarily hold our meetings in the Laurel Art Center, mm -hmm. which the guild was also instrumental in. Um, Where is that located? That's also on the Montpelier grounds. On the Montpelier grounds. That's a famous grounds. You know, I got introduced at uh, the Montpelier Festival. You have that every year, and then Montpelier yep. Festival yep. is just outstanding. It is. I mean, people come from everywhere. They do a good job there. Yes, they Laurel. do. Yeah. And the uh, Laurel Art Guild, that's one of our um, opportunities that, for our community outreach. We always participate in that every year. Yes. We have a booth. Um, we set up easels so that the community can paint with us. Mm -hmm. um, frequently, we'll have a model who's dressed in colonial clothing. Yes. All so right. that uh, they can help, they can participate with us mm -hmm. drawing mm -hmm. the model, or they can just do anything they want to. Mm -hmm. It's really a, a well, great event. Well, they won event. quite a few awards, both the Guild and the festival. You know the work that they've done. I've attended quite a few of them, and uh, I'm really impressed. And then when I went to the Sports and Learning Center, uh, I saw the Laurel Art Guild exhibit. I said, "This is great!" Yeah. You know, and and, and some of the uh, pieces that was exhibit there, I was really impressed with. I took time out. Uh, actually, I went there after exercising, and I. Uh, went to the computer room and 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 the exhibit was uh on the back side of the computer room so i had to almost pass it you know mm -hmm. and i saw the art and i said this is lovely then i found out it was the laurel art guild i said wow because i knew that the art uh, festival every year has always been great yeah you know? yep yeah our um exhibit chair um located that venue i I'm not exactly sure when the sports center opened, but mm -hmm. we've been holding exhibits there for a number of years Is now. Is that right? And uh, right, well. it's, it's, it's <laughs> one of a variety of different venues where yeah. we can uh, hold work. Yeah. We also have an annual show at the Montpelier Art Center. Mm -hmm. And so um, I've brought some images along that we okay. can look at. Um, okay. As Why don't we take time now? Want to take a few minutes to look at those? Yeah, take a few minutes to look at these images from the Laurel Art Guild. S in Laurel, Maryland, right on Route 197. Yes. Uh, we have a variety of artists. Um, this was the first place winner from a 2010 exhibit. Um, this woman works in collage. She uses mm -hmm. a variety of different media. Um, in fact, she was a pretty new member to the Laurel Art Guild at the time that she got this first place. The next image is an honorable mention um, from this year's Laurel Art Guild Open. Is that right? Um, Are these local uh, artists? 
Yes. Oh, oh yes. Um, most, most of the artists mm -hmm. are actually do live in PG County. Mm -hmm. um, some live in Howard, some live in Montgomery, but the mm -hmm. majority live in PG County. Mm -hmm. um, there will, I believe, uh, this one here actually um, it was a piece that won the first place in 2008. Is that right? It's mine. Right. I glowed a little oh, bit. Oh, this is yours? This is my painting. No kidding. Congratulations. Thank you. That is and beautiful. This next one was the third place winner. So mm -hmm. you can see we have a lot of variety. Ab variety. Yeah, some I, I realism, see. Some modern, abstract. modern uh, yep. abstract. Yeah. And this man um, has a studio actually in Brentwood, Maryland mm -hmm. um, at the um, art center that's affiliated with uh, PG County. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the last image I brought along is a piece that's done in pastel. It was done in one of our plein air events. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you know what a plein air event is. Many people don't. They're just paint outs. Mm -hmm. So you're actually there live. Um, this was uh, held. I this mean, was, you go on site. You go on site. On, and actually and do the painting. do it within mm -hmm. a few hours. Is um, that right? So is it's that really the, quite the ruling? Impressive. You have to do it. You can't wait to do some today and then go back tomorrow. No, to generally, <laughs> generally, it's just one session. One session. Um, people will go out for a few hours in the morning mm -hmm. before it gets too hot in the day mm -hmm. and do work. And this was a beautiful pastel um, that our treasurer did. Mm -hmm. um, now, now, tell us about programs that you have for the, uh, the public, just like uh, uh, youngsters, senior citizens. Do you have such thing as that? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. As part of our outreach, which is very important to the Laurel Art Guild, is to have a lot of community outreach. Yes. One of the things that we've done is we've established a partnership with the Laurel Regional Hospital um, back in 2006. Great. And they have held um, children's exhibit um, every year. And we helped them originally to organize the event because they'd mm -hmm. never done an art exhibit before and then Great. helped with the jurying of that event. Great. And in addition, they have us hang work. And every three months, we rotate what work is on display in the hospital so that there's something bright in the halls to mm -hmm. kind of help cheer the place up. I mean, you, you donate it or just? Uh, uh, no, no, the work is just, it's just there on rotation. On rotation. Um, it I is for see. sale, and occasionally we'll make a sale. In mm -hmm. fact, um, there was a story, and one exhibit was coming down, and I think one of the people who worked at the hospital came running out and said, oh, I want to buy that, I want to mm -hmm. buy that. Oh, so great. We do occasionally make a sale, mm -hmm. but the mm -hmm. main thing is we're trying to just Making a Get nicer place for the people. Environment, yes. Right, for the people mm -hmm. who are working there and the patients. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, what, what, how, do you, how do you attract uh, young people? Uh, so, um, the, the, the art, the festival we talked about earlier yeah, this the year, festival. that's probably well, the well, biggest they, oh, thing. Oh, wow. The festival has everything in it. Oh, they, yes. They, they and have everything. We usually, yeah. It's usually held just before Mother's Day, so mm -hmm. we'll have a table where they can make Mother's Day cards. Right. And of course, they're invited to work at the easels as well. Mm -hmm. And it's actually, the kids do a lot of great things, sure. and they can take it home. Right. Um, we've had a few young Give members. Them a, a place to, you know, express themselves. Yep. Right. And then the last thing that we do that's specific to younger people is um, we give a scholarship to two uh, high school uh, students who are graduating planning to go on in the visual arts. Um, the Laurel High School and the St. Vincent Pilate High School, so the two right. high schools in Laurel. Right. Um, we well, give how, how, do you, how do the individual get involved with that? Who do they contact? You have a phone number so, and uh, your meetings. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Meetings are held um, 10 months of the year. We take the summer off. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are traveling. Right. Um, so September through June, we have meetings um, every month at mm -hmm. the Montpelier Art Center. Mm -hmm. They're held in the main gallery. They're open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, I believe they make it into the Laurel Leader. Um, Is that right? Advertise. So you can get information from the Laurel Leader and we about also, the guilds, the programs. Yep, and we also have a website. And, and the website. we have a publish on the website what events are going on. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have a variety of events. Mm -hmm. um, some are the how, how to do mm -hmm. type things um, in different mm -hmm. media. Um, our members um, primarily are painters. Are painters, um, I see. So but they could be have, oil. But you do have classes because I've seen them advertised. We do. Yeah. We hold workshops right. as well. Right, um, workshops. Yeah, yeah. right. 
So well, it's really quite a busy yeah. organization. I know it is, and, right. Uh, and I want to thank you for being here, you're April. You're welcome. And, and as far as the Laurel Art Guild, uh, they do a terrific job. And just like I was saying earlier, with the festival going on, I think it must be, that festival must be about uh, 20 years old, isn't it? Oh, at least. At least, At least, yeah. yeah. Okay, this has been Ed Brown. Just to give you an idea of what's happening in Sports and Learning Center, Laurel Art Guild, these are Prince George's finest. See you next time.